Hi, Gary here. You know, December is tax savings month, you know, whereas April is tax paying month. Uh, so this is the time to really take a look at your own stuff and see can you do something proactively to save some taxes here. So I have seven tips for you today. Start with number one, capital gains. Now, you may not want to generate capital gains. However, if your tax bracket is in the zero, 10 or 15 percent, now for joint uh, returns that's under $75,000 and for single returns it's under $37,500, then any capital gains generated is zero federal tax. Very important. So if you're under that and you could be proactive about generating some capital gains that you might want to do and get a zero deal out of it, that's a great deal. Number two, charity. Hey, this might be the time of year to clean out your garage, your attic, your closets, whatever it happens to be, and then get stuff together to give to charity because if you do it now, then you can write it off on the tax return and save some taxes. Also, if you made some pledges, you know, advance pledges to give money to your favorite charities, you know, over a couple of years, you could accelerate it into this year and again, save some more taxes from those itemized deductions. Number three, Gifts. You know, everybody can give $14,000 a year annual exclusion to anybody they want. And again, this ties in a little bit with the first tip about capital gains, but you could gift stock, appreciated stock, or cash to your children or grandchildren. But if you, if you gift appreciated stock and they're in those lowest tax brackets, but you're not, they could save taxes. So as the family goes, it could save. There's a post on this, a lot more explanation from last year. You can go look at that if you want to know more about it. Number four, Roth conversion. Converting your regular IRA to a Roth IRA. Now, you know, why would you want to do that? Well, again, if you're in a low tax bracket, uh, you might be able to do it at zero taxes or maybe very low. And long term, that works out much better for your taxes overall out of a Roth IRA versus a regular IRA. Number five, if you're working and you have a 401k and you haven't maxed it out, and that would be defined as $18,000 under the age of 50 and $24,000 50 and older, max it out this month. It's, a, it's an immediate tax savings right now. Makes a lot of sense. Number six, tax penalty relief. You know, many times people get caught because they had a lot of taxes in a particular year and because of the way the prior year worked out, they had to pay some penalties for underpayment of taxes. Now, what does that mean? Well, generally, you gotta pay in 90 to 110% of last year's to avoid any taxes. So take a look at your situation. Maybe you should be accelerating some federal and state uh, taxes into December to avoid those penalties. And number seven, another tax item, well, to, to state income tax, for those of you paying estimated taxes, and even for those who are not, maybe had a big tax event this year, you might want to accelerate paying your state income tax right now in December and getting a deduction for it this year. In other words, push the deduction into 2015 rather than 2016. Save some taxes right now so you get a nice little benefit in April of next year. Now, having said all this, Everybody's situation is different. Seek out tax counsel, CPA, firms like ours, others who can help you look through your tax situation to see if any of these tips work or any other strategy would make sense to help you save some taxes. And you gotta do it now. You can't do it next year because the clock's off after December 31st. So until next time, enjoy.